Welcome to Daily Pop. Now, first things first, I know I've always had a crush on Lola Bunny since I was a kid. So I gotta know how it felt playing that role, uh, that iconic role of Lola Bunny. How was it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's obviously a sense of pressure because she is such an iconic character. And like, you know, we've all grown up with her. Um, I know I was literally born the year the movie came out. So, uh, <laughs> and, my, and I come from a basketball family, you know, my mom is 6'4", so that should tell you enough. But my dad was also my, my um, he was my PE teacher, my basketball coach. He wanted me to be LeBron, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> so I can I can heavily relate to, you know, LeBron's son's character arc in this in this film. Um, but, um, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, I just, I felt very honored that, you know, I, I got a phone call from from Ryan Kugler, who's obviously one of the producers and uh, he's an Oakland native. And I've always been like, anything you do, I want to do with you because I think you're the bomb. But he, um, yeah, he, he called me and was like, you know, we, we are doing this new spaceship. I had seen it before and um, obviously seen that they were doing it with LeBron and everything. Um, who I'm a huge fan of and I think is incredible. Um, and he was like, we kind of have done like a new iteration of what um, Lola represents and what she represents now in the world and, and, and kind of who she is and this new version of who, who we all know this iconic character to be. Well, speaking of new version, she had a whole new outfit this time too. Yeah. Drop top before, were you feeling the new digs? Was that something yeah. you would talk? I felt like it was definitely more of a modern team. Yeah, of course. And I guess, I mean, she's like one of the, she's she's a team member, MVP. She's gotta, she's gotta be suited right, you know? She's gotta be taken <laughs> care of, you know? Um, I'm more probably realistic to actually hoop in, you know? Um, yeah. And she's uh, like, yeah. So she she has these these beautiful characteristics of you know she's she's um, smart and capable, a natural leader. You know she's always kind of bringing the team back together whenever they're doing their looming thing. You know she's like, all right, team, let's, let's let's regroup, let's focus. You know, and and giving everybody pep talks and keeping everyone together. Um, and I mean, obviously a very skilled basketball player, probably the best the team, just saying. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, she's very special and I, and I felt very lucky that they thought that I would be able to bring my voice to her. So. Now we got to talk about fashion just a little bit. You wore a beautiful dress to the BET Awards, honoring Beyonce, of course. Now, did she hit you up? Because like, there's gotta be some dress wars going on because you rock it too. She, I mean, I've been a Beyonce fan from birth, so. It's always, you know, if there's anything I'm gonna do, it's gonna be Stan Beyonce. Um, and she always deserves the flowers. So yeah, we found that dress. Um, Law had found that dress. Uh, and it also coincided with her, with her looks that she, literally she performed at the BET Awards in 2003 in that dress. Yeah. And when she was first going solo and I was like, it just all the stars aligned with the dress when we found it and it was just yeah it was it was a pretty cool pretty cool moment yeah the timing on that was very hot that's a very uh, that's, that's beyonce you know that's like a all you can do is pay pray pay tribute she's just i mean exactly. i could go on about it honestly <laughs>